here is 3215 Bush River Road. It's about 9.30 in the morning. Have a side uh, parking to your backyard. Of course, the garage. Bush River Road is a, it does get busy. I would say, you know, the, the 8 a.m. traffic, 7.45 to about 8.45. It can get pretty busy. And then of course, five o'clock traffic coming home. It does get busy as well. But other, other than that, it's just a normal road, but a lot of parking. It is on, on, on a hill, not, not a bad hill, but a slight uh, incline going down. There are some cracks and they do have a quote from Terratech to fix the cracks. That they will pay, the seller will pay for the cracks at closing. It's about $12,000, another little crack here. I saw another one over here, a small one there. But again, the seller already has an estimate from Terratech. They've been very sick, so they cannot do it ahead of time. And then one, I see one right in there as well. But overall, the home looks good. Vinyl soffits, vinyl trim, nice front porch. As we go into the house, foyer with the slight vault ceiling going up. It does go up. And you do have a coat closet in the foyer. And we have a nice tile floor. This is a real tile floor. And it steps down to the hallway there with the oak hardwood floor. And this would be your formal living room here with oak hardwood floors, the floor vents. And they did open the wall up between the formal living room and the family room. You do have newer windows throughout it's a little dark in here so I apologize here is your formal dining room they have a table for three you can definitely get four or five people in that area and they have the dental crown molding And then here's a view from the dining room. I mean, the floors are in good condition. The dining room looking over. As we come into the kitchen. I thought I had the lights on. So, so a long kitchen. So long, lots of cabinets. And they do have a vinyl floor in this kitchen. On this side, you have a gas stove with more cabinets. And then, not the best job. They kind of put plastic here, which is not obviously good when you're cooking on high heat and have plastic. So that needs to be uh, replaced or put the microwave back right there. But lots of cabinet space. Nice tile backsplash here. And then it is open to the family room there. We do have the eat in kitchen here with the nice big bay window that looks out to the pool. And under the bay window, we do have storage under the bay window and here's a view back to the kitchen and they have a little window here to the covered porch screen porch off the kitchen towards the garage 
a good sized laundry room with lots of cabinets. And again, a nice tile floor in here. And you do have a sink. The sink does stay. Washer and dryer do not stay. They have an ironing board right here. Built in that does stay. And from the description, they, they are, I guess, handicapped. So they do have a ramp. And part of the garage is a ramp. You can still bring one car over here. Or if you remove the ramp, there are stairs. You can still get two cars in. But there's definitely room to bring one car in right here with no problem. Lots of built-ins. And your panel box, I know that was important. This looks like it's definitely been updated. Lots of extra space in there. 200 amp circuit. And they ran power out to somewhere outside. And then they have an older box. Pretty sure that's we can find out for sure if that's on or off. That one. So either they have two boxes or one box, but if you guys like the house, I can find out if they're both active. So coming back into the other side, the formal, the family room. Looks so like we have a wood burning fire, oh, gas, nope, let's see, like gas logs in here, but it's a real chimney so you could do wood burning fireplace, TV up there, built in desk here, that's the front door, and you do have built ins between the front door and the family room. Lots of built-ins here. And they open up on both sides. Again, the floors look really good. Oak Harbor floors. That's a king size bed in this room. Still have a good bit of room in here. And there are original windows in this room. And just your traditional closet space. Long hallway. And this bathroom has been updated. Tile floor, bath. And you have a step up to the jacuzzi tub. And a linen closet in the bathroom. And this hall bathroom is shared with this bedroom. This is bedroom number two. That's a queen size bed. Same thing. That's a traditional closet.
And then back here is the owner suite. And they have a king size bed. So they have two closets. A small closet here. And another closet over here. Master bathroom has been updated and they have a nice shower with a corner little seat can be right there. All oh, this looks very good. And newer vanity here. You have tile floor here and your toilet is in the corner. And you can still see the pool. So the only newer windows, it looks like they're only in the family room. Everything else is older, original windows. And off the master bedroom, there is a door to get to the sunroom, or the screen porch room, sorry. So I'll go back around and go out the back door. So here is the porch, looks very nice, wood's in good condition, we have like a stucco finish here. You can definitely have some entertainment back here. That's the door to the master, and they have a TV over here. Vinyl siding on the roof. And they do have a hole in the screen. Hole in the screen right there. Uh, the steps coming out is actually Trex. That's not wood, that's uh, Trex decking, which is really, really good. Like a, a composite wood. This side over here. Goes to a side yard. That's the back door to the garage. Your parking. Like the neighbor's building a garage over there. Here is the pool. Nice steps going in. Diving board, so it should be eight feet with the diving board. And they have a covered area down there with fans and power. Your pool equipment over here. Looks like the actual equipment is right here. Another crack right there. But again, the cracks, they've already agreed to fix the, fix the cracks. The little house right there is your hot water heater, gas hot water heater, HVAC unit. And they have the pool fenced in for privacy, but there is grass area around. All the way down here. Oop, oop. To walk around. I'm gonna pause for a second and go back. Okay, had to pause for a second.
I didn't waste any film. That's your neighbor's property. And these are all nice brick homes, brick home community. You have the slide as well. Those are your neighbors back there. Sitting area, you got power outside. Looks good.